Hovitec. Just a button away. In this video, I'll be explaining how to extract the SHSH2 blob from your iOS device, whether iPhone, iPad, etc. Um, you might wonder what this blob file is for. Now, it's basically for um, flashing any firmware you like to your device, whether signed or unsigned. So, to begin with, um, let's say you have an iOS device running on, let's say, version 1, and there's a new version, let's say, version 2. Now, once this happens, Apple stops signing the version 1 firmware. So, the moment you upgrade from 1 to 2, you cannot go back to 1 because it's no longer signed. Uh, and that is um, the reason why you need the blob file. So, the blob file will allow you to go back to version 1, um, even though Apple has stopped signing version 1 firmware, provided you have the blob file for that version 1. So, um, before we go ahead, there are a couple of things you need to take note of. One, this guide is for the A11 and below iOS devices. That is below the A uh, iPhone XR and that um, region of iPhones. So, your phone needs to have the Apple Bionic, let's say, A11 chip and downwards uh, for this particular method. For the A12 and above, um, there's a different technique which uh, requires the narrator and some other information which will be touched in another video. And also, um, the blob file is unique. So that means you cannot take my blob file and use on your own device. So it needs to be extracted from um, your own device or for your own device. And, and also, you can only extract a blob file um, for a firmware that is currently being signed. Let me explain that. So let's say um, currently there's iOS version 1 on my device and there's a new version, let's say version 2. I can I can I can only extract the one for version 1 while it is still being signed because that is the current version. So the moment you are on the version, it's best to extract the blob file and keep. So once you release, let's say version 2, you can extract the blob for version 2 without first upgrading to version 2. Because version 2 is not the one that is being signed. So you can extract the blob of version 2 for your device, even though you are still on version 1. Now, if the let's say release version 3, you can also say extract the blob for version 3, even though you are still on version 1. So you can have the blob for version 1, 2, 3, even though you are still running on version 1. And that means you can flash 1, 2, 3 anytime you want, whether or not Apple is still signing um, a particular firmware. Uh, so with that in mind, let's, let's get down to it. So first, you need to um, know your board config and some other information. You can get your board, board config using AXCPU um, or any other application you, you'd you want to use if your model has multiple board configs. Uh, and of course, you need to have set up iTunes and you need to launch iTunes. So uh, once iTunes is up, you connect your device to your PC. And then your iPhone or your iPad. I wait for it to sync. So now you click this um, phone icon here, and then you click serial number. You click again, and now you have ECID. So you take note of this ECID. Now, if your ECID is all numbers, that means it, that means it is in decimal format. So you have to convert it from decimal to hexadecimal. You can use any online calculator to convert from dec to hex. Okay, but if it comes in mixture of numbers and alphabets, that means you're in hexadecimal format. So this is in hex format. I don't have to change anything or convert anything. So I take note of my ECID. And then you click again. And now you have model identifier, this iPhone 8, 1. You take note of that also. And of course, for some models, you need to take note of the board config. I'm using an iPhone 6S for this guide, and that has two possible board configs. So with AXCPU, I can tell that this is my own board config. So that is taking note of. So once that is um, done, with your internet connection, of course, you can open the Telegram, um, this Telegram bot. Make sure you have Telegram installed.
and I'm going to start afresh. So you run the command, you send the command forward slash sh sh. So I'm going to start afresh. So I'll click on save new since I already did it once. So now you choose your iOS device from this list. You can see it covers iPhone, iPad, and other devices. iPod Touch and the rest. So uh, mine is an iPhone 6, so I'll just choose that from the list. iPhone 6s so now I, I, need to, I need to use my board config since this model has two possible board config so this is my config up here so next you choose the iOS version I'm running on this particular one 15.7.2 19h218 Now I need to enter the ECID. Recall my ECID is already in hex format, so no conversion required. And now I have the file, so I can just click on this. Open. And then I have my SSH2 blob. So um, that's how to extract the SSH2 blob from your iOS device.